Hello and welcome to this video and on this video I'm going to be telling you all about my new band The Northern 3 which features myself on drums, the incredible virtuoso bass talents of a long time associate of mine, Mark Hartley, guy that I've been playing with for nearly 30 years now and of course the incredible Roy Marchbank. <laughs> We formed this band about a year and a half ago and over that time we have been working on an album, the Law of Three debut album and I'm very pleased to say that the album will be coming out on the 4th of August and to coincide with the release we will also be doing an album launch at Lode Street Studios in Kidderminster in the United Kingdom and then in September that we will be following that up with a concert at Tower of Song in Birmingham, UK. This band has been exploring some really interesting concepts. It's basically a power trio, drums, bass and guitar. But Mark and Roy are using effects and synthesis to create an expanded sound. The band also utilizes a high degree of improvisation and tries to explore a new way of playing what I suppose you could call jazz rock or jazz fusion in a power trio setting. Roy's explorations in guitar synthesis are possibly the most developed guitar synthesis work ever recorded. Here's Roy to take you on a guided tour of his parts for the track Deja Funk off the new album. What you're listening to just now is the beginnings of Deja Funk. This was recorded as a groove by Andy and Mark in Low Street Studios back in September 2022. As soon as I heard Andy and Mark playing together, I realised two things. They both were really tight together because they'd been playing together for so long. In fact, so intuitive, it was almost psychic. So my thought was, initially, I don't want to just reach for a wah-wah pedal and start playing a funky guitar chord. What I had was a brass section, something like Tower of Power. So the obvious question is, how do I go about doing that? I needed something to sound as authentic as possible. I also needed the guitar to track as well as possible. And that's when I came across Swam Audio Modeling. So I'm just going to take you through some of the solo sounds. This is tenor sax. Unlike sample-based saxophone libraries that often link dynamics to fingering, these two elements are fully independent in real wind instruments. Swam saxophones allow independent control of these primary expressive parameters continuously and in real time. Couple that with a breath controller and you get the sound of an authentic instrument. Just going to solo the alto sax now. There's three main points why I chose to go down this route. First one obviously is because I play in a trio. So touring isn't an option with a nine piece brass section, it just would cost astronomical amounts of money to record let alone tour with and I wanted to bring the audience something different for every track on this album. Not all the tracks sound the same as Deja Funk, it's a very eclectic album. Personally, I don't like to listen to a guitar solo for too long, and if I don't, I'm pretty much sure a non-musician will feel the same, so changing the sound brings something fresh every time. Probably the most important point is playing for everyone, not just musicians. The entire album was arranged and recorded in only a year. However, recording an album doesn't always go as smooth as you would like it to. So we had to jump through a few hoops to get to where we are now. I titled it Deja Funk because it takes me back to happier days where Tower of Power raised the roof. It's a fun track and I wanted to write a catchy melody with a nine piece horn section. We had fun doing this track and I'm glad our CD sales already show many of you are loving it. 
strings we have tenor, baritone, alto, soprano and trumpet in this first section, we'll call this the A section continuing to the B section, paying a lot of attention to the dynamics small alto solo so we now have two tenor saxes Baritone, two altos, two soprano, two trumpets. This album has been made using a variety of approaches. Some of it was improvised live in the studio, some of it was created half in the studio and half afterwards using extensive overdubs. It explores all sorts of avenues which I think have not been explored in this way before. I will now play you a couple of samples from two tracks off the new album. You've heard Deja Funk, but here's a little bit more of that tune featuring the incredible talents of Mark Hartley on bass. Sevens.
would like to come along and see us play live, you can get your tickets from lawof3.bandcamp.com. Tickets are available there for £10. If you buy a ticket for Tower Song, you will also get a free digital download of the album when it comes out on the 4th of August. We really hope to see you at these gigs. Please try and make it if you can. And if you can't, pop along to our band camp and grab a CD copy of our new album. If you're a guitarist or bass player or interested in jazz and jazz fusion, this could be a very interesting album for you to check out. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.